everybody needs a 3D printer. You know why? So they can print toilet paper dispensers. Oh yeah. There were three parts to this print. The first one was the spring. Remembering the lesson that I learned from the Frenzel goggles, I wanted to test the interference fit. I got lucky and guessed the right dimensions the first time and they fit together perfectly. And because that went together so well, I was feeling kind of spunky and tested out the spring and broke it. But it was still long enough to work. It was surprising to me to find that the internet could not provide me a model or design for a toilet paper dispenser. So I went ahead and modeled one up. And as you see here, I'm printing the three components, the spring and the spindle halves. And um, I had it on a 0.2 layer height and I was printing really fast. So the finish isn't that good, but um, I was just wanting a functional part as quickly as possible. So that's what I ended up getting. Wasn't that great of a finish, but the sucker works. Here you can see that I was trying to get the parts off the print bed, but it was still too hot to pull them off. They were stuck pretty good. I waited a few minutes and gave it a shot again. I should have waited a little bit longer as you can see here. I uh, pulled pretty hard and it popped it off and shot across the room. Second one I had a better grip on and uh, was able to get it off. So I got the three parts, the spindle halves and the spring, pop the spring in the spindle half right there, grab the other end and pop it in there. And then we got ourselves a toilet paper dispenser. Application time, baby. Yeah, this sucker worked pretty good. I was surprised how well it actually did work. It looks just like a normal toilet paper dispenser and it's pretty sweet. Pop it in, pop it out. And then the ultimate test, see if it will hold toilet paper roll. And shazam, it totally does. Yeah, yeah. So a couple lessons I learned this time around. Uh, the heated bed, you gotta let that sucker cool before the parts will come off. If you let it cool down enough, they'll just pop right off without any effort at all. I also learned that printing springs out of PLA is a bad idea. Um, although mine worked, it would have been a lot better if it was out of ABS or nylon or something. If you look in the description, there's a link to my Thingiverse account where you can find the models to this. You can actually spin them around in 3D and see better what they look like. Thanks for joining me on this journey of toilet paper dispensary. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll be bringing you some more cool videos here pretty soon.